All right, guys, in this lesson, we're going to be talking about significant figures. Significant figures on precision is going to be the first thing we're going to be looking at. And then we're going to be talking about the rules for counting significant figures. So significant figures of a number are digits that are, carry meaning contributing to its measurement. Uh, measurements include known measured digits plus a final estimated digit. Okay, so if we were to look at this example of a pencil, we would know right off the bat that this pencil is bum, 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 about nine centimeters long, okay? But we also see that it's not cent 10 centimeters. What we can see is it's about nine and maybe 9.5 centimeters. That five right there and that nine are going to be called significant figures. Is it exactly 9.5? No, but from this measurement, we're not too sure just yet. We could say that this measurement is 9.51. We don't know, but that one right there is what we call our estimated digit. So every experimental measurement has a degree of uncertainty. Uh, the volume at the right is certain in the tens place, but the and certain in the ones digit, but it needs a tenth place, which is guessed. Okay, so if you were to look at the meniscus, which falls right about here, which is again that downwards curving of a liquid, you'll notice that's the 16 millimeter, that's the 17, that's the 18, there's the 19 millimeter mark. So we can be 100% certain to say that it's at least 17 milliliters. Mm -hmm. So it could be like 17.5, it could be 17.6, it even could be 17.4. We don't know exactly, but these are very good estimates. And those numbers are going to be our significant numbers. So there are going to be four different rules for counting sig figs. Okay? The very first rule is that all non-zero numbers are going to be significant. Those are numbers 1, 2, 9. Okay? If you have a leading zero, those things are never considered to be significant. So that's when we have decimals. If you have a decimal that starts with a zero, the zero is not significant. All zeros between a non-zero number are significant. So that zero and that zero in 50,035 are considered to be significant. One, two, three, four, five, sig figs. Even over here, now you have 1.003. That means one, two, three, Four significant figures. Yes, so zero sandwiched in between significant numbers. Those are going to be significant. Right. If you have, however, a zero that is after a non-zero number, that is again one to nine, those are not significant unless there is a decimal. So in this situation, we have five sig figs. Why? Because we have a decimal right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five significant figures. But over here, we see there is a lack of a decimal. That means you only have one, two, three, four significant figures. Now, it doesn't mean that that zero doesn't matter. The zeros are going to be placeholders, even when they're not significant. So how to count significant figures? The first way to do is you count the numbers from left to right at the first non-zero number. And then if decimal point is present, count any trailing zero, so zeros that come after all those numbers. And if a decimal point is not present, you do not count the trailing zeros. Just refer back to the notes you just took. Alrighty. I want you guys to pause this video right now and try to do these numbers on your own. When you're doing these calculations, you got to make sure you're following the four rules that we gave you before. Did you notice in the first one, that last zero does not count? You notice in the second one, the very first zero before the decimal does not count either. For the third one, the number 100, without a decimal, there's only one sig fig, but there are four sig figs in the fourth one because of the decimal. In the fifth bullet down, there are only three significant figures. In the second to last one, because of that decimal, that is exactly 650, therefore there are three sig figs. And for the very last one, there are four sig figs because of the decimal place.